Hey, it's Mark. In this video, I'm going to show you how to screen record on a Chromebook. Um, so there's a built-in screen recorder, but stick around as a bonus. I'm going to talk to you about a few other third-party apps that are also good for screen recording that have a few different benefits that are not built into the Chromebook. So to screen record, there's a keyboard shortcut. You press Control shift and then it's that square with the lines next to it looking like stacked boxes on it. So you press that and then you go down and at the bottom there's a photo one and then there's a video right next to it. So you toggle over to the video and there will be three options along the bottom. So the first one here, this is um, if you want to record the whole screen that's in front of you. The second one will select a certain area. It'll have an X. You can just drag and select that area. Or the third, that will record the window that's in front of you. So if you select the window, which I'm doing here, then you click somewhere in the window and it'll give you a countdown timer, like a three, two, one. Now it's recording on the screen. So when you're done recording, at the bottom, you'll see this little red icon. You click on that and that will stop the recording. So to see where that's saved, you just double click in there. And on mine, it's saving right into my Google Drive folders, which is really convenient for sharing. Um, so um, it's a web M video, which I found to be not ideal for uploading video and editing. It's better to have an MP4 in my opinion. So I had to use some third party apps to convert that to MP4. Now I'm going to show you a few third party apps that are also great for screen recording that may have some different benefits that aren't built right into the Chromebook. So to get these third party apps right on a Chromebook, you go to the Chrome Web Store. I'm there right now. Uh, the first one I wanted to show you is called Loom. You click on Loom up top there, and then you can add this as an extension to Chrome, which will help you screen record. The benefit of using Loom is you can also add your video in from the camera on your Chromebook, so you can have the recording plus your video right there. Uh, it's a nice little feature and integration that's not available through the Chromebook screen record directly. The next one I want to show you is called Nimbus. So just type in Nimbus right there. And this is a, all, a screen recording Chrome extension you can add also. Um, something different about Nimbus is you can do censoring and blurring on the screen. So if there's personal information or other things you want to blur out, there's built-in tools to do that right through Nimbus. Another one I want to share with you is called Awesome Screen Recorder and Screenshot. Uh, the nice thing about this one is there's some ways you can send links to the screen recordings easily, help streamline the process of sharing your video after you've done the screen recording. It lives up to its name. It's got good quality and great reviews. There are certainly other screen recording apps you can use. The built-in one is fine for me. I just flip, press Control Shift and then that Windows button with the lines next to it up top and that works pretty well. They're saved right on Drive. It's easy to use. I hope this video was helpful for you. Give us a like and subscribe to our channel and we'll see you again soon.